One of the weirdest creatures in the ocean is something called a sea cucumber. Now, it's not a green, crunchy cucumber from your garden. It's actually kind of a slimy, soft, yucky, worm-looking thing. But it has this amazing ability. First of all, it survives by taking food from the sand at the bottom of the ocean where it's crawling around, or maybe sucking in plankton and filtering it out of the water. Uh, so it eats the very small creatures of the ocean, but there's larger creatures that like to eat it but it has an amazing defense mechanism. When a big fish starts to attack it, the sea cucumber spills its guts. Literally, doesn't just say, don't eat me. It spits out its guts. Long strands of sticky, yucky internal organs come spewing out of one end of the sea cucumber. Now they're so sticky, if they get caught in the throat of the fish, the fish literally often will die. But what about the poor sea cucumber? Isn't he gonna die too? Not at all. The sea cucumber could spit out its stomach and its internal organs, and then it just regrows them. Now, how in the world did the first sea cucumber, who's under attack and spills its guts into the ocean water, how did it survive? It wouldn't have. It would have just died. There would have been no more sea cucumber, no more ability to pass this desire and this behavior on to the next generation. You see, this is only possible if in its very DNA, the sea cucumber was created with the ability to spew out its internal organs and then grow new ones. And that's exactly what we have. We have an animal designed by God with an incredibly unique defense mechanism that shows us evolution could never have made this creature. God had to have been the one to have created it.